Yes, big, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, good luck with that. Now, after all that excitement, it's time to sit back and just chill yeah, a little, Just yeah? relax, guys, just relax. Daisy Payne invites you on a journey to find some inner peace by following the latest trend, moon bathing. What? <laughs> The Lake District, where the stillness of nature meets stunning, shimmering waters. In the heart of the lakes is Winlatter Forest, and I'm about to experience something a little different. When this morning said I'd be doing some filming in the lakes, I was over the moon. Little did I realise it would actually involve me being under it. Today, well, later tonight, I will be moon bathing. Bathing? I don't have to go in there. Woo! Luckily not. Moon bathing is something that's new to me, but worshipping the moon is a practice as old as time itself. And basking in all its glory is now becoming more and more popular, with celebs such as Kate Middleton, Justin Bieber and Kate Moss all doing it. And if it's good enough for Moss, it's good enough for me. But what actually is it? This session will be run by Jen Grange and ahead of it, I'm getting some more information about what to expect. Hi Jen, thank you so much for inviting me. It is gorgeous here. Can you tell me a little bit about moon bathing? So moon bathing, it's a little bit like sunbathing, except you do it in the dark, funnily enough. <laughs> so it's about exposing your skin to the beautiful light of the moon. So that can be just your face or some people go a little bit further and like to ex expose more of themselves to the moon. Ooh. Yeah, I know. What are the benefits of bathing under the moon? So we know that it lowers our stress levels, it lowers our stress hormone cortisol and it increases our levels of serotonin, which is our happy hormone. It helps to boost our immune system, there is, especially being out in beautiful places in nature like this. So when I come out of the moon bathing experience, am I going to feel like a completely different person? Well, you have to wait and see! <laughs> <laughs> Many people do. It's a bit grey today, so what are the chances of us actually seeing the moon? <laughs> Might be a bit limited tonight, yeah, we have got cloud forecasts, but we don't need to worry about the cloud because when we're working with the energy of the moon, the cloud's just a, a natural barrier in the way, but the moonlight shines through. As day turned to night, unfortunately, the elements turned on us, but we didn't let that dampen our spirits. Jen has got a group of wonderful women together to take part in this session with me. The experience begins with a dusky moonwalk, but don't worry, I won't be busking out any moves. But I am going to hurry up because it's dark and it's a bit scary. <laughs> this walk is used as a gentle, sensory and mindful journey in the moonlight, embracing the darkness of the forest and opening up our awareness to the night sky. I'm really quite scared of the dark, you know. I don't like going out on my own. Somebody said to me, oh, I'm not sure about being in the forest, and I was like, look, the most exciting thing you get in this forest is a badger, a fox or a deer. So. And the owls. <laughs> and an owl. <laughs> it is training yourself to feel comfortable because it, it does feel quite nice. I could hear my breathing. I wasn't looking around. It's lovely. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Well walked, we then got to our destination for the session where Jen kicked off casting the circle and calling in the elements to create a sacred space. Thank you for bringing your powers of clarity, communication and insight to our circle. Hail and welcome. Now we're ready. Jen then did something called smudging where she lights a sage stick and waves it around our bodies to cleanse and purify our space and energy. The group then opened up the circle on how we were feeling and how we work with the energy of the moon. Okay. My name is Daisy and I open this circle with calmness and gratitude. My name's Rebecca and I... Finally feeling a part of the circle with all these gals, Jen then took us on a guided visualisation to the beat of the drum. During this time, we were focusing on what we wanted to let go of moving into the winter months and what we wanted to create in our lives. So we've got some bay leaves and what we're going to do is we're going to write on here what it is we want to release. What does not serve us anymore that we're ready to let go of? And as we release them into the fire, we intend that these energies are released back to the universe with love. We've gone. The final part of the session was a manifestation exercise focusing on what we wanted to create using intention candles. Each candle colour has a different representation and as we light them, we light the spark of our intention. And as it burns down and goes out, that is the signal to the universe.
before finishing it off with some forest tea from a grand fur and a slice of cake. Who doesn't love tea and cake? Do you always end them with this? Absolutely. Wow, I'll be coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so on paper, this was such a mad thing to do, walking in the dark, getting spiritual, doing loads of meditation, but it is honestly one of the most emotional, brilliant experiences of my life. Um, so I may look like a drowned rat right now, but what an experience. There you go. That looks moon lovely. Ba moon bathing even it is. And we have a small situation in the studio because I'm wearing this woolly jumper and I'm getting quite hot because I'm Irish and anything over 12 degrees has me sweating. You're freezing, so I'm giving you a Christmas cushion to it hug. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Still to come.